Hi everybody and welcome to another uh, episode of uh, AGS Live, our webinar. And today we are going to uh, talk about backup of Microsoft 365. And uh, together with me in, in the studio, uh, or maybe not in the studio, I have uh, Janet from Skykick. Hi uh, Janet. Hello. Hi. There How you are. are you doing? Hey. I'm fine, yeah. Yeah, so who is Skykick, Janet? Can you tell us uh, more about uh, what you do? It's obviously something about backup of Microsoft 365. Absolutely. So Skygig is a cloud automation company out of Seattle. Uh, we have an office here in Amsterdam where I'm working. Uh, but we basically started our business with migrating uh, customers to Office 365. Then we added, we realized there's no backup in uh, Office 365. Then we added our backup product into our portfolio. A lot of questions we, are, we get is, uh, why do you need a backup of Microsoft 365 in the first place? Well, this is a great question. I get it quite often. Um, I come from Microsoft, so I used to work at uh, Microsoft before in an office team. And it's a misconception what the people have when you have your uh, files and everything is a cloud. They, it's kind of a concept after it's a backup, which it, it is not. So um, Office 365 doesn't come with a backup. Uh, Microsoft is responsible to keep the uh, product up but it's a customer's uh, responsibility to make sure it, everything is securely backed up. So cloud is not a backup. There's no restore button in anywhere Office 365. Uh, legal hold is not a backup. So you just need to have like a, a backup on top of your Office 365. Even Microsoft recommends to have a third party backup on their services. Yeah, yeah, because they, they are in, in a way uh, offering some limited backup. You can restore your files, uh, I think it's for 92 days or something like that, but beyond that, you are uh, kind of lost. Uh, is that true? Yeah, and the thing is that it's more like a legal perspective there. So basically, if you need to restore one my, uh, mail, for example, it's not possible. They're, you're going to get dump of the whole data uh, and then your team, for example, needs to look for that mile, mail, but it's not like easy solution to restore the um, like uh, f uh, files and things for the productivity. It's for the legal perspective and solutions like ours, it's there to help your customers to be more efficient, uh, be more protected with the backup solution. What kind of uh, uh, services is included in uh in, in a backup of uh, Microsoft 365. Yeah, so our uh, backup includes Exchange, OneDrive, SharePoint, SharePoint and uh, Groups and Teams. And we actually yeah. just added private channels also in our backup solution. So as you know, pandemic drove a lot to working from home, uh, remote work. In Norway, you're, you're doing it, I think, pre-pandemic already a lot. But globally, mm. uh, people move from remote work and uh, work more collaboratively collaboratively in the cloud uh, during pandemic. So you need to have the modern tools to work efficiently uh, today. And that's why we want to make sure that those tools, what the employees use are protected. And if something happens, people uh, swipe left and right, they delete accident or something, your team needs to be immediately restoring that file or email back in a couple of minutes or hour. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, if you have uh, have a backup of Microsoft 365 uh, via Skykick, you can be sure that you have backup of your mail, of SharePoint, OneDrive, Teams, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, another question we are uh, getting uh, getting a lot is that is uh, is can I choose to take backup of just one service? And this question uh, we are asked a lot. Uh, especially on mail they want to have backup of the mail service but not all the other service is that possible yeah so you can only also back up just exchange but yeah. what i recommend and what i see now especially because i work with the nordic partners across the region um we are a very cloud driven region and people use this one drive to collaborate when they work together so it's important that the whole environment is backed up it's good start if you start from email but i think 90 percent of my partners customers uh, back up the whole environment not just email because it just we don't only work in email anymore. We work it together in SharePoint. Uh, our stuff is in Teams. We have OneDrive. We edit 
documents together in OneDrive. So it's important that the whole environment is backed up because you don't want to lose your data. No, yeah, but, but but someone just wants a backup of their mail because they think that's the, maybe the most important thing. So, but it, you can do it if you yeah. if you want to. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, another question we are getting a lot is: uh, Must all users enable the backup? Uh, and the thought behind this question is that they not not every employee is just as important as the boss or. Uh, you know, uh, the leadership because they want a backup of their data because if there's some legal trouble or something, they want mm -hmm. to uh, have access to uh, to that data. And uh, so can you enable backup for just some people in the company and not for all? Is that possible? Yeah, so basically uh, I am a high advocate for everybody to be backed up. Of course, there is, um, <laughs> <laughs> but of course there is situation, for example, construction companies who do, who want the office workers to be, for example, backed up and not necessarily the workers who are on site. So obviously yeah. we can build a um, process to have that also done within our backup. No problem. Yeah. Next question. How much storage do you offer up uh, of Microsoft 365. So basically, Skykick wants to do everything really simple. We want to simplify basic user-based license, and there is nothing you, you or the customer doesn't need to take care of, like how much data there can be. We have unlimited storage, so, yeah. so we don't. So you don't yeah. have to be nervous about oh, how do I have enough uh, storage to uh, to have a complete backup of my data? You backup everything, and uh, so there is unlimited backup. So they, you don't have to worry about anything. No, so no, the customer doesn't need to call your team like, oh, this 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 month we added this much data. How much is going to invoice be next month? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, another question is, uh, for how long can uh, I store my data? Is there uh, endless? Can I store it for years? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so like I mentioned, we want to do everything very simply and a very GDPR compliant and all the d data regulations taken account, like uh, account. So mm -hmm. especially in the Nordics, there's a lot of data regulations. For example, in Finland, if it's a child related data, the backup needs to be there for 15 years. In Norway, and I think in Sweden, if it's a legal document, they need to be at least 20 years or so. Uh, but you can select also indefinite. So yeah. we don't delete any version history after three months or so. Every, you can select based on your customer how long you want the data to be there stored. I think many of most of my partners put it on indefinite a time. So um, yeah, and we don't yeah. delete historical data. And that's really important. Yeah. Yeah, and, and one thing is that's important is the versions of the file because not only do you store the actual file so you can retrieve the uh, the file endlessly, but you can also retrieve versions of the file. Uh, it takes com completely backup of everything and keeps it uh, unlimited, yes. right? Yes, absolutely. So. Let's say that if you're working on one document for years, you just edit it. Like I, I'm also thinking like, I would like love to have like a backup of when I was doing my master's thesis, because then it would have a version of every day for the same document for 12 months. And I would have like gone back, like how was my uh, thesis for uh, in five months ago or so. And so it's same thing when you work in a big document with the whole team and it just changes little by little so it's take a snapshot when the document changes that it all those versions are available for you to restore uh, another important question that's maybe surprise uh, businesses in Norway it's where you store the backup of your uh, of, of their of their data uh, because uh, that's kind of a, a really good argument for having a backup of your uh, Microsoft 365 solution. Yep. Yeah, and this is something because sometimes, especially where you think about like Nordic partners or Nordic customers, they're like, well, you are a US, you are, you are US, US company, so is, are you going to now store my data in US? And that is not the thing at all. Like, we have a data center locations all over Europe, also in Norway, Sweden, Dublin, Amsterdam. So your Norwegian customers can be sure that their data stays in Norway. We are, no one is not copying it anywhere else they wanted to be copied. Yeah, because there are plenty of solutions out there in the marketplace that that offer backup of your of Microsoft 365. But you are one of the few that actually has a, 
a storage solution uh, based in Norway. Yeah, it's really important for us to support our partners, customers where they need to. And especially in Europe, there is a lot of different regulations when it comes to GDPR, for example. The data needs to be uh, in Europe and we are very happy to offer Norway as a data center as well. Uh, next question is, how easy is it to restore a, a, a backup uh, if you kind of want to restore a mail or a file you have deleted in uh, in uh, OneDrive? Um, how long does it take to do that? Is it, is it an easy fix? Yeah. Of course, it depends on how much data there is. So the restore of 14 terabytes or one terabyte is different yeah. than just one mail. But Azure enables us to do the restore super, super easy and simple. So your, if you, if there's a one mail, it can be uh, restored in just a out, the automation helps it to be restored like in minutes. So your team doesn't need to, or your customer doesn't need to wait days or hours to wait the one email to get back. To. Because Azure enables us to be super fast, it would be different. Um, sometimes we get questions like, why cannot we use your uh, solution on on-prem? But we want to make sure that the Azure helps us, your customers to get the data back faster because we cannot, if we would put it on on-prem, the solution, we could not make sure that the on-prem solution be as fast as Azure. Uh, so we want to make sure that your cu bus, uh, customers have a business continuity and they get their data back faster. So that's why we use Azure. And, and the last question, and I, I, I'm going to, to, to answer that question because, uh, of course, that's the most uh, asked question. How much does this solution cost? And uh, we have three plans. Um, and I think that to uh to uh are the most important for for uh, regular customers we have one plan that costs 35 kroners uh, per month per user that's only take backup of email uh as i said it's it's, it's, a, it's a feature that a lot of people want and if you want backup of all uh microsoft 365 teams sharepoint uh, onedrive everything it's cost 50 kroners per month per user and we also have a special plan for those who have a developed solution from us uh, from a developed sharepoint solution that's kind of custom they pair a little bit more but that get also much more help uh, restoring the custom solution they have uh, uh, integrated yeah yeah so it's like a, i always kind of ask like you have uh insurance for your car for your house why wouldn't you have insurance for your data? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a very safe uh, choice uh, to have. Uh, and of course, you uh, you uh, never know when, when you get, you're going to need it. So uh, it's like uh, like insurance. And we see a lot of uh, customers that maybe will delete a lot of files or change a lot of files uh, before they go to the summer vacation. And suddenly when they come back, they don't remember or can't find their files because they were this was deleted before the summer vacation and then of course it's too late for them to do anything about it yeah so, if they uh, don't have a backup yeah yeah so uh having a backup is uh, is a really good idea and it's kind of not of it's not that expensive either no, you just want to make sure that your data is there when you need it. Uh, we have also point in time restore. So if there is like a hacker attack or ransomware, we can travel back in time before the ha uh, like attack happened and restore that data. Because you don't want to be in that kind of situation that uh, you don't have a backup and then your business is down for three months because you don't have access to anything. Yeah. So if you have a kind of a crypto locker attack, you can then restore all your files from before the crypto locker attack. So they are yeah. healthy. Yeah. 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 Yes. I want to thank you, Janet, uh, for thank you. Uh, being uh, in the in the webinar with me and uh, thank you. answering to all my questions, <laughs> all uh, our customers' questions. Perfect. So uh, thank you. See you again. See you. Thank you. Have a lovely weekend. Bye. You too.